Good evening guys. Um, I've just turned like every light in this place on so that I can walk around and vlog because I need to get steps up. Um, it's ten past six. Emily and I are going to a Vietnamese restaurant in Box Hill for Emily's mum's birthday. So we're going to leave in about 35 minutes and I'm only on 4600 steps for the day and I start work at 6am tomorrow so dinner will probably be finished by like nine maybe so i don't really want to have to rely on staying up to like 11 o'clock to get the steps done even though i may still stay up to 11 o'clock i don't want to have to rely on it for the steps um that means i didn't run today today's my rest day ended up not getting to sleep till probably like 1 30 in the morning woke up at 9 a.m feeling absolutely cooked and exhausted legs felt okay and they feel even better now which is surprising um, I just needed a smaller week I think and I was looking back on it and I've done five long runs of 10k's or more. I've done two 13k's and about three 10k's in the past five weeks. So I've done a long run every week for the past five weeks. I think this week was the week where I needed a bit of a break and so that's what I'm doing. I'll probably do a 7k run tomorrow and then try and run three k's, three runs next week including my long run. We'll see how we go though. Um, instead today I actually finally got back out on the bike. I rode it straight from home down to the beach. It's only about 1.7 k's down to the beach. Um, and then I rode all the way down to Port Melbourne and stuff. All in all, it was a 22 k ride. It took me an hour and five minutes. Stopped a couple of times just to take a photo, turn around and all that sort of stuff. Um, pretty happy with the way it felt. My average heart rate was 147, which is what I need for base building. At the moment, I'm so unfit and heavy that I'm unable to run like that with that heart rate because even if I'm going like 8 minute 30 kilometers my heart rate goes higher than that so I think it's about time I really truly start cross training and running maximum three times a week just for the moment while I'm heavier and um, going on maybe at least two bike rides if I'm doing five sessions a week towards building my cardio and also obviously burns quite a few calories. I think I burned 679 calories just on the ride alone. It only took an hour and five minutes. It was very low impact. It didn't feel that difficult. So yeah, if I'm doing five sessions like that a week, the weight will be falling off me, especially if I'm getting 10,000 steps every day as well. And um, yeah, I'll be getting faster, fitter. Feel really good, really motivated, but I can't rely on motivation in this world. You just gotta do it. And that's what I said to Emily today. I was like, oh, I'm not going to run today. Maybe I should go for a ride. Then I was like, oh, but then my, my legs might be tired for my 7K run tomorrow. Who cares? And then I took it downstairs and tried to put it in Emily's car. And I was like, oh, it doesn't fit in the car. Maybe I should just go to the gym. And I was feeling like, no, I don't really feel like doing that. Then I ended up saying, you know what? Life isn't going to wait for me to make these decisions. I just have to do things. I just have to take action. So that's what I did. Got on the bike, rode to the beach, rode back. It was phenomenal and I can see myself doing it again. There's plenty of routes that I can take that take me longer than what I went. And if I take the front tire off, which I know how to do and put it back on, I can put it in Emily's car and take it to really good trails, pretty close by, the like even longer, different sort of elevation, that sort of stuff. So plenty of riding to come, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I feel really good after it. My legs feel amazing. They feel better than they did this morning. Um, and yeah, I reckon I could ride 20 k's pretty much every day if I really wanted to but obviously on the days when I run I'm not going to and I want at least one rest day a week so I'm thinking like I said five days in total will be good. As for food, a new bakery's opened up near us. Today's not a cheat day by any means. I had two slices of toast for breakfast at Barn Me for lunch and then Emily asked me to go to this new bakery and buy her two pastries. Bought her two pastries, couldn't tell you what they were but they were delicious. I had three bites of the first pastry and then a half of the second pastry. I'm not going to bother counting it, especially on a day when I went on a 20k bike ride. Um, and then tonight we're going out to Vietnamese. I'm just going to eat till I'm satiated and it's going to be good. Um, speaking of my day off and all that, I actually edited all the vlogs, so I'm up to date, but I've got to upload them. Unfortunately, Emily's laptop went out of battery when I went to upload them, but that's okay. Um, I'll get them up soon. I'm pretty happy because I was actually really productive and went and did a couple of big food shops at Aldi and Coles and now we have enough food to last us for a long time so 
I'm not gonna have to go on a work day or anything like that, which is what I love about going and doing a food shop on my day off. Gets it over and done with. And I don't have to think about it when I'm working. All I have to do is go to work, do my exercise, and then relax with Emily and Maggie. But yes, I'm almost on 5,000 steps, which is good, because I've just accrued another 500 while filming the vlog for the day, which is what you gotta, you gotta really think about when you're um, trying to hit 10,000 steps in limited time. Anyway, should be a good dinner. I won't film because it's with Emily's family, so I'm gonna end it here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'll tell you how it was when we get back. Should be good. Dinner was really good. Um, oh, the dog's barking at me because she can hear me talking. Shut up. Dinner was really good. It was good to see him with his family because it's been a while since we've seen them. Um, come on, go back into your mother. She's being annoying. Don't bark. She won't bark when I'm with Emily. Shut up, rat dog. <laughs> she just jumped and hit Emily's head. Um, silly dog. Anyway, yeah, it was really good dinner, really tasty food. It was called Tien Dat. It's in Box Hill, Vietnamese food. So good. Um, if I go to bed within the next, like, 20 minutes, I'll likely get five and a half hours of sleep. If it's within the next 40 minutes, I'll get five hours of sleep. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, ate really moderately all day. Had snacks and stuff when I got home, but we didn't really eat a massive dinner by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so it was, no, yeah, I'm trying, I was talking to Emily all day about food and eating like I always do. I'm trying not to think in terms of cheat days, cheat meals, treat days. I'm trying to think of just living and enjoying myself, but being really reasonable. So that's what I've been doing. Um, yeah, good day. Should be a good day at work tomorrow. Gonna go on a 7k run after work, so it should be good. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.